Good afternoon, Bassa. My name is Graham. My name is Christian, and we're here with, with your Blazer broadcast, bringing you blazing news. We have some fire news to get you pumped up for the day. Who wants free pizza or ice cream? Well, bring in your canned goods before March 8th to your crew to help with the Super Bowl canned food drive. The crew with the most canned goods will win a pizza or ice cream party. As a school, we need 500 canned goods to win, so make sure you get those cans in. That's right, Graham. Last week was spectacular as we celebrated Black History Month with our Black History Spirit Week. Now let us go ahead and start with Today in History. Today in History, on March 1st, 1872, Yellowstone became the first federally protected national park by the Act of Congress signed into law. Thank you, Graham. In sports news, we had an outstanding showing so far this season. A special congratulations to the dance team for their performance at state. Your performance was outstanding, ladies. Also, our Bassett baseball team made, hot, made headlines with their executive, consecutive wins as they have been put in the Barrow News Journal saying they have put determination and hard work into their matches. Let's check in with Seth and see who our Trailblazer of the Week is. Thanks, gentlemen. This week's Sports Trailblazer of the Week award goes out to Mason Odom. Mason is a junior on the varsity baseball team, primarily playing pitcher. Mason faced adversity in the 2023 season tearing his UCL in a scrimmage. But after Tommy John surgery and a long recovery, Mason is back out on the field playing ball again. Despite his major injury, Mason did not slow down as he looks to be a key component in the Blazers team this season. Congratulations, Mason, and back to you guys in studio. Thank you, Seth, for our Trailblazer of the Week. Christian, I heard that there was word going around about something that happened over the weekend with the question, am I the problem? That's right, Graham. From an anonymous source, here is today's story. My best friend and his ex broke up a few months ago. I have a good relationship with his ex, and he did not know that we were still talking. She and I have known each other since before he and I were friends, and she and I have always been very good friends. The other day at lunchtime, my friend grabbed my phone and saw that I had a message from her, and he asked me why I kept talking to her. I told him because we are friends, but he got upset and has not spoken to me since. I do not want to lose anyone. Am I the problem for still talking to my best friend's ex-girlfriend? So Graham, what do you think? Are they the problem? Well, Christian, I think they aren't the problem. When it comes down to choosing people, it's never right. You should never have one of your friends make you choose who to be with or who to be around. Though it can be hard for this person's best friend to realize he shouldn't ever put that pressure on someone he's friends with. But that's just my opinion. What do you all think? Thank you, Graham. You know that every day we are getting closer and closer to graduation. That's right. As we ease closer and closer to graduation, we had the pleasure of having Mr. Sheeman answer some questions about graduation this year. Now to Corey for this interview. Thank you, guys. Last year, we had 93 graduates graduating at the amphitheater. This year, we have almost 300 graduates graduating. Students are concerned that them and their families will not be able to attend due to seating problems. Today, we have Mr. Sheeman. Good morning. Does this matter? Good morning. Glad to be here with you. All right. Mr. Sheeman, we know you have a plan. What exactly is that plan? I'm glad that you asked. First off, we had a phenomenal first graduation last year in the amphitheater. To be able to have graduation on our campus is huge because we're the Blazers. We want to celebrate here in, in blue and all of its glory. Last year, we had about 90, a little over 90 graduates. This year, we'll have a little over 200. And what we were able to do this year is the idea was, again, keeping it on campus. Each student's going to receive seven tickets, which is great. That's a little bit more than some other schools. Uh, it's only one less than what we had last year. And what's going to happen is uh, Mr. Uh, Jerry Golden, who runs the amphitheater, he's uh, volunteered. He's bringing in risers that will be all up on the upper concrete area, which will house several hundred more seats. And then, of course, in the bowl, the actual amphitheater bowl area, we'll have uh, the white chair seating like we always do, and then the wall seating, which is like bleacher seating at a high school. But the cool thing this coming year is Mr. Golden actually went out and purchased big, thick pads so people will be able to sit as they're sitting on the wall like bleacher seating in a, in a football stadium, they'll actually be able to sit on a nice comfortable padded seat area. And then of course all of our graduates, what's really cool, will be able to sit together at the very bottom of the fishbowl, at the base of the amphitheater. We'll have our dignitaries, diplomas and everything up on stage. And so the idea is we'll still be able to house everybody here on campus, but of course we know as, our, as we get bigger and our campus gets bigger and we get more students, we may have to eventually look at some other um, alternative locations. But for now, the great 
great thing is we get to celebrate a, blast, a Bassa Blazer graduation on our campus. So we look forward to having a wonderful, great graduation once again here at Bassa. Go Blazer Nation. Thank you, Mr. Seaman, for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, Corey and Mr. Sheeman, for getting us all in on that info. We would like to honor Ms. Jones to highlight for her dedication to the Student Council and her devotion to her students, winning Teacher of the Week for BASA. Now to bring you all some fire style here at BASA, we have Mr. Brooks with the Fire Fit of the Week. Thank you guys. So now I'm here for Fire Fit of the Week with Miss Faith. Faith, your outfit is amazing. Thank you so much. Per usual. I feel like Faith is the blueprint of fashion for this school. You're the first I ever see do it and you do it so well. Um, so my question is this. With fashion, what would you say is the most important piece to you? Is it the makeup? Is it the hair? Is it the clothing? Is it the shoes? What would you say it is? Well, to me, um, I think that the makeup and the clothing makes up the whole fit. Because with your makeup, you can just do it how you want, match, match it with the fit, and you'll be good. But then for the males, to me, I think it's the hair and like the outfit. Like, that's perfect. Heavy on the hair, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, you know. All right, so now my next question is this. What will be your tips for fashion? Okay, tips for fashion? I would say don't mold yourself into what people wear because you like how it looks. Just do what you want to do. Like, even if it looks funky, it's okay. As long as you like it, you'll be fine. Mm, you heard it here first. Do what you want to do. Thank you again, Faith. And make sure you guys stay tuned, dress up, so that you can be fire fit for next week. Now back to you guys. Thank you, Mr. Brooks and Faith, for flaunting off your fire style. That's for sure. As always, a fire fit needs a fire song to go with it. Now moving on to our song of the day with Seeger. Thank you guys. I'm Seeger and welcome to Song of the Day. For today's song we have As by Stevie Wonder. This song was written and performed by Stevie Wonder and was released on his 18th studio album Songs in the Key of Life. This song debuted on number 36 on the US Billboard Top 100 in the Black Singles Chart. This song was inspired by the love Stevie has for his partner, as he implies that he will love her always until the impossible becomes true. As always, I'm Seeger, and this was Song of the Day. Make sure y'all give this song a listen. Back to y'all. What a historical hit by Stevie Wonder. Honestly, I think that's one of his best songs. Couldn't agree more, Graham. Bassett is fortunate enough to have so many dedicated students. That honors night was packed with proud parents and thrilled students. Now let's go to Omar's details on that special night. Thank you guys. On February 21st, 130 students came to celebrate their honors graduate. During the honors graduate, it was filled with laughter and cheer. The top 10 students that received their honors graduate was 10th Emma Lewis, 9th Alexis Brock, 8th Alexis Peregrini, 7th Nylea Moon, 6th Anna Claire Kirkpatrick, 5th Jasmine Flores Martinez, 4th Ansley Williard, 3rd Ansley Fields, and 2nd Megan Tuss. First place goes to Samuel Rojas. Congratulations. Back to you. Thank you, Omar. Congratulations to all the students. I'm sure their parents are proud. That is all for this week's Blazer broadcast. Make sure to come back for more with our next episode of the Blazer broadcast, bringing you blazing news. Thank you all for tuning in.